You're watching WWMT Channel 3, covering all of West Michigan. Barry Shanley, Scott Bryant Sports, and meteorologist John Windows Weather. This is News 3. The vivacious redhead who inspired laughter across America and around the world today faded away. And the people who love Lucy are now mourning her passing. Hello, West Michigan. She was the queen of comedy, one woman who joked and cajoled her way triumphantly through millions of living rooms, and she will be missed. Early this morning at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, Lucille Ball suddenly died. Doctors and nurses were unable to revive her. They now say an aorta ruptured in her abdomen, far from where doctors performed open-heart surgery just one week ago. Lucy's last appearance, the Academy Awards presentation, arm-in-arm -arm with fellow funny person Bob Hope, and in Hollywood tonight, sadness at Lucy's passing. How about that? How about it? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what a night. I haven't seen so many gorgeous girls since I spent Father's Day with Steve Garvey. <laughs> Bob Hope and Lucille Ball, two of the greats. Well, now, Angela Miles in Grand Rapids has the reaction of one royal family from West Michigan. A friend of mine called me on the phone, and I wasn't even aware of it. And so I got up right away and went in and watched, and I cried a little bit. Patrick Ziegler has followed the life of Lucy, his room filled with letters from Lucy, photographs, and a painting he made is a collage of her career. Oh, and this is probably going to worth some money someday, too. It's an um, old Showtime Viewmaster. Patrick, a theater major at Western, plans to meet Lucy during a trip to California this summer. And he had recently invited her to make an appearance in Kalamazoo. That's the neat thing about I Love Lucy and her shows that they'll probably go on forever. <laughs> Patrick says he also admired the serious role she played in Stone Pillow as a bag lady. I thought it was wonderful. I thought it was a stretch for her. She got criticized for it, but I thought she was wonderful for doing it. And, of course, he loved her work as a comedian. She wasn't afraid to look ugly. Wine thrown all over. It was a great scene and um, the chocolate scene. And it just, she made millions laugh. For those like Patrick, remembering Lucy is both a day to laugh and a time to cry.